work because they even suggested changing your name, didn't they? Oh, yes. They wanted to call me Bettina Dawes. <laughs> To be a little vulgar in this illustrious group, I said I refuse to be called between the drawers all my life. <laughs> Which I would have. No question. I remember sitting in the outer office and Mr. Lemley was talking to somebody. And he was talking about me, not knowing I was there. And he said, yes, yeah, she's got as much sex appeal as Slim Somerville. <laughs> and you see, you're, you're so right to... Oh, I was defeated. And, and for instance, they would say, who wants to get her at the end of the picture? <laughs> and, and, and this does... <laughs> true. And, and this really does catastrophic things to your ego. And I didn't have a lot of ego and, and never have had lots anyway, which is a big misnomer about actors. We have very little ego, basically, you know. And Ruthie, my mother, was, you know... So cute when, when all the years went by and these awful things were said about you. She'd always say, it's the best fruit the birds pick at. And I thought it was so sweet. You know, she said, just remember. Because it was heartbreaking. Of course it was. You said at the time, I'd have given anything to look like Katie Hepburn. And yes. I still would. I, I adore her face. I adore her face. Yes, it was so, so interesting. Mine was just kind of round. <laughs> I always hated my face. Were, were you anxious about that? But I look at that now, at this age, and think, my God, how beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me quite sick that I don't look like that now.